Hello guys and welcome back to Taking Rock. So guys, today I'm going to show you and tell you how to use a trim pot, any kind of trim pot on a breadboard. As you can see in front of me, I'm having a trim pot and a LED fitted to it and a battery fitted to it to show you how it works and what it does. So a trim pot is like a potentiometer which is uh, which just decreases or increases the sense uh, resistivity of the circuit. So as you can see this time it's not glowing because the resistivity is so high as I'll just decrease the sensitivity I mean, the resistivity it will just start glowing and glowing more with high uh, glow brighter okay and when I'll just decrease this I mean, like increase the sensitivity when I'll increase the sensitivity you can see it's going dim slowly and here we go it's switched off a little bit more and now it's switched off so this is how trim pots work this is what it does it's like a potentiometer which is having three pins like a potentiometer is always having a three pins and so to make the project the project that i'm over here showing to you guys uh, so it's really simple to make something like this that I've al already made in front of you. You can just uh, place a butter in uh, place of this, just in case. I want to just tell you because you know it's gonna work. Wait a second, let me just, just fix this stuff because you know it's like not always the correct because the butter ha are having butter is having like way too far away the points okay so I think that's it so after that you can just use the buzzer which I can't seems like oh no it's, I can use it as you can see It's now sounding really loud and slowly it's less. Let's remove this and let's have a trim pot of a little bit higher resistivity. I am the person who's having like three uh, trim pots or I have three, right? Sorry, I'm having four trim pots so I'm using now, yeah, this is really high. This is 550. I'm like, what's it? Wait a second. It's 5000. Trim pass value is this time that I'm using is 5000. Now, slowly, I'll just decrease the sensitivity. I'm gonna increase the sensitivity. As I increase sensitivity, the trim pot's not working. As I decrease the sensitivity, I'm like, the buzzer will start. I think now you're able to you're able to understand this. Uh, I think you have understand it better than me. So this is how a trim pot works, and so here are the material required. I think now you know what are the material required. So here we go. Let me show you how to use it on a breadboard. First of all, you see these three pins over here. I would I will need something to show. So, I think the soldering wire would be enough. So, as you can see, these three pins over here. So, this tells where is the trim pot overall is. Where is the look? What is the location of the trim pot overall? So, I just don't know where is my trim pot. So. I'm using the least sensitive, uh, my least resistive uh, trim pod, which is trim pod 101, as you can see. As if I can focus on the trim pod. If I can, and if it'll allow me. So, yeah, it's trim pod 101, which is the resistivity of 100 ohms. So it's enough for me to just use a LED and glow that LED. So here we go. So first of all, just place the LED for 
any place the positive would be the right side and negative would be the left side so gonna place it over there I think my autofocus not working now it would work so here's like positive part over there negative over there so it's a lady if you can if I can just make it a little bit far away so now you would need the trim pot okay the trim pot having three pins it's like a confusion everything that's having three pin I get confusion I don't know what it, it's with you or not but I am really confused guy if it if a thing get Three pins, I am the most confused guy you will ever see in this world because I don't know where to place the pins. But uh, I'm lucky enough to tell you guys how to use a trim pot because I have to study before. So I just researched on the trim pot first how to use it because I really didn't know how to use it. By mistake, I just placed it and it started working, so it's like uh, going to win, right? I got a win and now I'm telling you guys. I know I we would have skipped this part of me talking. Never mind. By the way, it's so now I'm gonna place this trim part over here, which is the 101 trim part. So first of all, the main part would be like these three pins over here that you can see. Tells you the position of the pin downside. Oh sorry for that guys. The camera is like camera stand just work really well so as you can see these three pins tell you the position of these three pins on the breadboard so let me just make it a little bit straight that's good so now you're gonna place it like this on the breadboard I'm gonna show you don't don't worry about that so here you go as you can see the those three points on the potentiometer is telling the place of the pins on the breadboard so it's over there it's over there so connect the two pa pa terminals of the LED positive and the negative positive and the negative to the trim pods if you're just like this if you're just like this making with me so to the left side of the two terminal now connect one of the connecting wire. I'm gonna use the white one as it would be the negative terminal. I'm not having a black one, sorry for that. I'm gonna make the upper one the negative and the down one would be the positive. So it's negative right now. Okay, now I would need the positive as red or you can take as which as color it's not on the color basis you can take any wire you know that why i'm telling you guys about that so now you would need the battery connect the battery connector and i'm gonna use as i told you i'm gonna have the down part as the positive upper would be the negative so here you go now it would now it would be working I would need my special tool which is this and I would now focus over here now I will focus over there okay, focus focus I need my finger over here so now it has focus okay why it's not focusing on that stuff over there so as you can see as I just increase decrease the sensitivity slowly the LED will start glowing as you can see a little like sun rising, it's like getting brighter, and now slowly it will decrease. Should work, so it was that easy to make things work uh, with potentiometer. So that was guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like my video, and don't forget to comment below. And if you want to see some more content from me, so please click on that notification bell as well, so that whenever I upload a video, you don't miss anything you'll get a notification and you'll just get to know that i've uploaded a video like this one if you got uh, if you're a su subscriber thanks for subscribing man it's like you did really good for me because i was not having literally no subscribers now i'm having 61 which is really i'm proud of 
because the time when I just started uploading the video, I was having 49, uh, 44, like 34. I was having like 34 subscribers or 35 subscribers, and I'm having 61. It's like a big gain for me, big gain up, or so. Now, because uh, the last, my, I just changed my content. I already told in the last videos, I changed my content. So this was the video, guys, and please don't forget to give a like. And I already told about this trim pot, how to just know the value of the trim pot. So it's really simple. You can check out my last video. I have already told you about this, how trim pot works and how to just read the value of the trim pot uh, in the previous video. You can, and that video is of, I think, the daylight sensor. So you can check that out. And please check out my all, check all my videos out because those are also nice. So guys, thank you for watching. I, I hope I just made you clear how to use a trim pot over here, as you can see. So this is the connection that I've done. Literally that's the connection. It's so simple. Right side, the, po uh, the negative, because the negative side is this. Of the, this is the negative side of the LED. And this is the positive side of the LED. So the positive goes over to the positive, negative goes to the negative, and trim pots is like connected like this. So I hope I just made you clear how to use the trim pot on a breadboard. So guys, I'm Ishank, and you're watching Technical Rocker, signing out.